Good afternoon, everybody. David Schuster here on Take Action News. Welcome to the first show of June 2013. So glad to have you on board. A special welcome to everybody listening to us over WPWC 1480 AM in Washington, D.C., and also to everybody who's watching us on our YouTube channel, Take Action News TV. This is the show where we like to tell you what's going on in the world and what you can do to influence outcomes. And we want to start with some blockbuster information that we have obtained regarding Republican Congresswoman Michelle Bachman. As you may know, she announced this past week that she would not be seeking another term. She is going to resign. She is under FBI investigation relative to her 2012 presidential campaign. Sources familiar with the investigation of Michelle Bachman tell us that her former chief of staff, Andy Parrish, Michelle Bachman's former chief of staff, has now given sworn testimony to the FBI that Michelle Bachman knew of and approved concealed payments to a Republican Iowa state senator. According to the information, these concealed payments were intended to try to influence this Republican state senator into providing all kinds of different help for Michelle Bachman before the Iowa caucuses. Given the nature of these payments, the allegations are that Michelle Bachman uh, possibly violated law involving the Federal Elections Commission. In addition, we are told that the FBI believes there are credible allegations now that Bachman committed wire fraud, committed mail fraud, and may be facing some serious trouble related to all of this. Michelle Bachman has consistently stated that she did nothing wrong, but nonetheless, she resigned. She announced she was resigning from Congress. And again, new information in to take action news that Michelle Bachman's former chief of staff has now provided sworn testimony to the FBI alleging that Michelle Bachman knew of and approved secret payments to win over support of a Republican state senator before the Iowa caucuses. As you know, Michelle Bachman did not win those caucuses. Uh, her campaign essentially imploded after that. There were also allegations from her Iowa field coordinator that Michelle Bachman uh, approved of moving super PAC money, moving secret presidential PAC money, actually not secret, but moving PAC money into certain funds that she was not allowed to do so. In other words, mixing and mingling funds. And these things are pretty, um, well, you have to be very careful when you're running a presidential campaign and, and you have to be very careful in terms of how you mark your funds and your contributions that come in. And uh, by most accounts, Michelle Bachman's books are a mess and the FBI is on the case. We're going to have more, some more information about the Michelle Bachman investigation at 3.30 Eastern time. Uh, we will also talk about the news involving Jim Graves. He was a Democratic opponent who had announced just uh, two weeks ago that he was going to run against Michelle Bachman. He has now decided he is not going to run for the Democratic nomination for that race, uh, I guess scared by the fact that Michelle Bachman will not be his opponent. We'll talk about that. We have some uh, strong views about, uh, about all this. 